points. Um, like somebody asked me a great question. Well, should I sell? Well, should I be investing more? Should I just wait it out? Those are all questions that you, you, um, you really have the answer to based on your own specific goals. So I can't tell you yes, no, or, you know, hold weight, um, because I don't know your specific goals and I don't know when you invested into the cryptocurrency, but with a dollar cost averaging strategy, it kind of takes out all the questions and just makes it so that you're accumulating over time. You're not worried about price fluctuations, about it going up or down. You're only worried about accumulating quality projects. Now, how do I get quality projects? I would say definitely do your own research. Um, you can look at CoinGecko and really research, I would say, at least the top 10. Um, understand what these cryptocurrencies do, how they work, because not all of them work the same. Just buy when it gains 9 to 10% for sale. You buy it again and repeat. Yeah, so there are specific strategies like that where you could be buying these cryptocurrencies and selling them at tops and then rebuying at bottoms. Um, but that, I would say, is not for necessarily everyone. You know, I can't give you a specific strategy because I can't just, um, you know, one size does not fit all when it comes to investing because everyone has different goals. Everyone has different um, risk management so um definitely you could do a strategy like that where you're buying holding and then selling taking profits and then buying even more um i would say that's a little bit more advanced for people who um have been in the space longer they understand how these cycles work and if you want to learn more about how bitcoin and cryptocurrency run we have so much tools for you guys so i want you guys to dm me the word action or dm me in general and we'll be able to give you more information on how you can really capitalize off of cryptocurrency.